Hi, my name is uh, Jim Lake. I'm with the University of Illinois. And we've been talking about uh, planar geometric projections in this uh, series of uh, um, uh, video lectures, PowerPoint presentations. Um, previously, in addition to introducing the planar projections, uh, talked about uh, perspective projections and uh, the times of the Renaissance, um, generating a uh, perspective. <coughs> excuse me, sketch using a CAD system. We talked about vanishing points and the different categories of perspective projections. Uh, now I'd like to talk just briefly about um, perspective sketching and how this relates to uh, this notion of uh, projection. So here we see two examples of uh, a a box or a um, cube drawn both in one and two point perspective. So we've already seen some of this, but uh, the, the, the elements that you'll see in these perspective sketches is there'll be a horizontal line representing the ground plane. There'll be a, a horizontal, uh, another horizontal line representing the uh, the horizon line, which is essentially the intersection of the projection plane with a plane that passes through the, uh, the center of projection, so that the, pro the center of projection is at the same height as the horizon line. And then we see uh, this is a one-point perspective sketch, so the verticals and these horizontals are still parallel, just as they are on the object. But the third set of edges, uh, the edges that on the object are perpendicular to the projection plane, they converge to a vanishing point. And likewise, with the two-point perspective sketch, the verticals are still parallel, but the other sets of principal edges converge to vanishing points. Um, one of the things that uh, uh, we haven't really talked much about up to now is, is foreshortening. So if I'm just executing a, a um, say, a one-point perspective sketch of a cube, so the cube uh, in the real world, the, the length of the edge is, let's say, L. So I start by drawing a, uh, a, a square, L by L. And then because the third, uh, uh, principal dimension is also L, I know that I'm going to draw them out to a, a, a vanishing point. Typically, if you're just doing a sketch, that vanishing point will be given. So if I draw those projectors out and then I lay out L and then complete the box, you'll see that the box looks um, elongated. It doesn't look like a cube anymore. And that's because of the phenomenon of foreshortening, where whenever we have edges that are not parallel to the projection plane, um, their, their, uh, um, the, the appearance of their length will be uh, reduced uh, in some way. So here, in order to make the object look a little bit more realistic, look more like the, the, the cube that the actual object is, we have foreshortened or reduce the length of that receding axis dimension. Moving on, um, another technique that is, is useful in developing perspective sketches is we can um, locate the diagonals um, or locate the uh, um, midpoints on a, a, a trapezoidal face, one of these faces of the object. Um, that are inclined to the projection plane on the actual object by simply drawing the diagonals of, the, um, uh, of that trapezoidal face. And the point of intersection will locate a midpoint, say, for a, 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 a cut feature like this. You can see that was used um, in two different situations. And it also can be applied in a one-point perspective. 
And this is just an example of that technique. You can take it further, say, for example, if, if you have a, a, an object that is uh, divided uh, into thirds, you can get the, uh, uh, if, if that face is, is along a receding axis, the face that's divided into thirds, you can get the proportions right simply by, you know, we start here by drawing the diagonals, dropping a vertical, and then that would represent midway and, and then the rest of the way. Um, if I continue that on and drop more diagonals, I can actually partition this into thirds or fourths or whatever. So this is a rather complicated uh, um, illustration, I guess, of a uh, two-point perspective sketch. Uh, you're given this object, and this is the setup. But this just goes through the, uh, uh, the, the approach. We drop that, draw that leading edge, draw out the projectors. These represent the actual lengths, but notice we foreshortened it. We've drawn the principal and closing box. And then we continue on using that technique of partitioning with the diagonals on the trapezoidal face to end up with a, uh, a more realistic uh, or a, a, a relatively realistic depiction, two-point perspective of the given object. So that's, uh, that completes the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the segment on perspective sketching. Thank you.